time since we have seen or heard from Carlita Kilpatrick. The last images of her were in Detroit coming from a courtroom as her husband was mired in the corruption scandal that eventually sent him to prison. But just a few days ago, the wife of the disgraced ex-mayor made a rare public appearance and opened up about what life is like while her husband sits behind bars. Let's get to Rod Maloney. He joins us now. And Rod, this happened down in Texas. Well, you know, she was at the National Prison Summit on Mass Incarcera Incarceration, Carmen, and what she was doing was trying to help support other families in the same situation that she is, trying to deal with somebody in prison and what it's like to have to live that way. And she opened up like we've not seen in many years, and in fact, she has turned away from Kwame and toward her kids. Um, to really watch over my children, you know, to be a steward over Former Detroit First Lady Carlita Kilpatrick now works in a car dealership, while her husband still must serve 25 years of a 28-year federal prison sentence. Her life in Dallas is obviously entirely different than the one she lived before. She said constant juggling came with a disastrous financial fall, yet she has two sons in college and one in high school. Still, it's a daily fight to teach humility. She's a, a working single mom, and she has embraced that for the sake of her boys. The video comes courtesy of the Detroit Free Press and columnist Rochelle Riley, who went to Texas to hear firsthand Carlita's words. She tells Local 4, Carlita's decided to turn away from Kwame in this respect. I think that any mom who has decided my being a mother and my making sure my boys don't become their father is, you know, I think that's noteworthy. Now, Rochelle tells me that she tried to get Carlita to talk about whether she remains married to Kwame Kilpatrick, and that was a question she would not answer. She also said that Carlita refused to discuss Kwame at all, especially that drive that is out there to try and get him pardoned. Back to you. Well, you know, Detroit is his home. Did she uh, say whether she has plans regarding returning to Detroit? Well, actually, you know, uh, Carmen, she's originally from Washington, D.C., so Detroit was not her original home. But, yeah, right. she did spend a long time here, as a lot of people uh, who were friends with her. But, no, she made it abundantly clear that Detroit is uh, not in her future at all in any fashion. All right, our Rod Maloney reporting for her.